Red Titus, the mercenary, Flip Gordon. And Titus, leapfrog of Indy, drop down, almost catches Titus, but it's a leapfrog caught, and Titus catches Gordon in a bear hug. Oh! Speaking of that drop kick. Yeah, catches Gordon, sends him to the outside. Oh! Titus, big boot. And again. Second rope on the inside, it's Brett. Kinder surprise. I'm surprised he could hit that. On the baseline oh, here. Oh, no. Fisherman oh. suplex. On to the outside. We are under a minute here in Baltimore. Traps him. One, two. Titus wow. almost gets a three there. I thought that was it. Gordon! What? He, he gets the punch. Wow. He gets the punch. Oh, wow! He the warning for the use of a close fist. But it's wow. only a warning. He gets yeah, two. He gets if two, he does but this again, it's disqualified. Wow. Gordon at the curb stop. Gordon! He's going to finish him. Has him up. Does he have enough in the knee? Flip five. Oh, that's it. That's it, Rick Abana. Flip I promise five. you that. him. Crap. One, two. Flip Gordon has defeated Red Titus. Wow. Ray Horace. He is the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, representing La Faccion Ingobernable, Dragon Lee. And this adds a whole new oh, element watch out. to Ring of Honor, Horace. Off the ropes, Dragon Lee. It's Oris playing My Dragon goodness. Lee. And Dragon Lee, full head of steam. Wow! Whoa! Ah. Pump kick misses. And this time it's Oris. Hand stands out of it to Dragon Lee. Oris thought he planted with the hurricane. Yeah. Whoa. The pump knee takes a tooth out from Oris. Oh, God! Spanish fly by Dragon Lee. LFI, Mexican squad. They've had their differences, but it's Dragon Lee sweeping a leg. Pendulum in! Connects on Oris. Even Shane Taylor turning down the titles. The honor oh. there. Oh, there's no honor among Dragon Lee, Rouge, and LFI. That's what I mean. It's another Dragon Lee. He's so aggressive. Whoa! Wow. We're in dangerous ah. position. Wow! C4 from Oris. One, two, C6. Wait, no! Wow! No! But it is Dragon Lee who has Oris up. Oh, wow! Peligroso, oh! But he beat Don Castlewitch. Sure did. That body scissor driver. Dragon Lee. Oh! oh! Peligroso, Peligroso! That's it, Rick the body. I promise Two. you that. Oh! oh! He wants to hit him. Full throttle incineration. Just count it. Just count it. Hooks the leg. That's it. Two. Yep. Dragon Lee retains. I'm Quinn McKay, and I'm here to update you on everything going on for the week in Ring of Honor. 2021 is looking pretty good in the world of ROH. We've currently re-signed many of the athletes that make ROH what it is, and we're still delivering the best wrestling on the planet, as proven by the latest episode of TV, where we saw an early match of the year candidate. Mexa Squad member Ray Orris challenged for the ROH World Television Championship against Dragon Lee. It was an absolutely incredible match and if you didn't see it check out the full episode right now at ROHwrestling.com. Dragon Lee was victorious after a hard-fought classic and I was able to get comments from the TV champ post-match and he was interrupted so let's have a look at that. I'm Quinn McKay backstage at Ring of Honor and we just watched Dragon Lee successfully hey, defend. Hey, hey, hey. Who is the winner? Who, who is the winner? I'm the winner, but who is the next, huh? I'm the champ. You want to get in my business? Tell your family this is just the beginning. Don't touch me. Very threatening. Also
Also on the latest edition of ROH TV, we saw Flip Gordon defeat Rhett Titus in a pure rules match. However, immediately following the match, I got word that Flip is suspended from the pure division after the ROH board of directors decided that he has not conducted himself properly in the way that ROH wants the division represented. Let's go back to when I informed Flip of the news. I'm Kuna Kay, backstage at Ring of Honor, and we may or may not have just witnessed Flip Gordon punch someone in the face on purpose. That's someone being Rhett Titus. What are you talking about? You, well, you punched Rhett in the face, and that's yes, against... Yes, it's within the rules. You get one punch. Okay, you're right. You do get one. Granted, Flip, you do get one. However, because of that and your behavior at Final Battle, I've just been informed by Ring of Honor officials that you've been officially suspended what? from the Pure Division. I don't believe you. Are you kidding me? For a punch? It's within the rules. Well, I think it was more about the code of honor or lack thereof. Whatever. They can suspend me from the pure division. I don't even care. Because I have the number one contendership for the Ring of Honor World Championship. And they act like the pure division is the only division that matters here. Well, they're forgetting that there's a television division. So now maybe I'll enter that as well. Maybe I'll get myself a tag team partner and I'll come to the tag team division too. Maybe that'll stick it to them, huh? He's got options. We will show you the new Pure Division rankings a little later on, without Flip Gordon, due to the fact that they will be determined following a special week-by-week -week exclusive, and I have that for you today, so stay tuned for that. Speaking of rankings, the absence of Dalton Castle on any of the current rankings is quite worrisome especially according to me. On the upcoming edition of ROH TV, we'll see Castle face off with Josh the Goods Woods in a Pure Rules match. If Castle can beat Woods, he will surely get in the top five of the Pure Division rankings. Thank God. Let's take a closer look at the upcoming match. One step forward, two steps back. Beating a world champion like Jay Lethal, there's nothing better than that. And then Flip Gordon. Underestimating a guy like Flip cost me. And then, you know, the opportunity. The opportunity at final battle just slips right between my fingers. So I underestimated every single person I was in the ring with. I didn't take him serious enough. And, you know, like Silas would say, that's a rookie mistake. But this isn't the time for that. Don Castle's a former world champion. There's no time for jokes. There's no time for games. I'm 100% serious about beating Dalton Castle. Former world champion, man. Like. Dalton Castle, you, you, you put us on paper, and we're almost, we're almost the same. We're it's me, Dalton. Skill sets. He's a decorated amateur wrestler, and so am I. Uh, I think just that alone is going to be very unique to watch. He can do things a lot of people on this roster can't, as can I. I think that's going to be fun for me. I love, I love a challenge. I love, I love pure wrestling at its, at its core foundation, man. This is, this is, this is what I live for wrestling a guy like Dalton Castle. And I've already beaten him in a tag competition, but this is single, this is totally different. Right now, all my energy is focused on being a former world champion. That just skyrockets me right back to the top of the rankings. I'm chasing gold in Ring of Honor for 2021. I'm chasing, I want it, I need it. Whether it's for the pure title, whether it's for the TV title, whether it's with Silas Young for the tag titles, or even the world title. This year, I will hold Ring of Honor, but I guarantee I will hold Ring of Honor gold. And it all starts with you, Dalton Castle. Hey, this, um, we gotta, like I double booked this. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, so this is gonna be quick, all right? No, I'm in a thing. The Yukon, I said the U, I'll call you back, I got a thing. I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. Okay. I think I'm ready. All right. Silent. It's on. Don't worry. Go ahead. It's hard to express how I'm feeling. Conflicted is a good word for it, I suppose. I, I've been pulled in all sorts of different directions internally. My win-loss record in Ring of Honor hasn't been good. <sighs> but it's also not my main focus. I feel like I'm dealing with things outside of wrestling that's got me a little sidetracked. I am very busy. But I can't use that as an excuse for my performance in the ring. I mean, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to perform. So I, I go out there and I wrestle a guy like Brian Johnson and I, and I shut his mouth up. 
Then we go to final battle where I don't have a match and I see another competitor in the locker room who doesn't have a match. So what do I do? I do the, the grown up thing and say, let's get in that ring and let's be a part of this event. Getting in the ring, was that a foolish mistake? No, no. Why wouldn't I jump right in the pool? I know how to swim. But it's still a gamble when you find yourself in a situation like that and unfortunately, dealing with a loss. Hey, I'm busy, will you shut up? This match with Josh Woods, I'm really looking forward to. I'm a fan of Josh in the sense that I see an athlete in him. There's a level of respect that I feel like I have for the guy. I mean, the guy's a beast. <laughs> you look at Josh is, he's part gorilla, part Neanderthal, but that's only from the feet to the neck. You know, above that, he's all cantaloupe. Not a lot going on up there. If I'm gonna wrestle the guy, yeah, uh, he has a strength advantage of me, but I don't think he has the capability to solve puzzles like I do. If we're comparing records, he's doing much better in the peer division than me. That shouldn't really matter. I mean, I'm a world champion, but Josh and I have been in the ring together before, and I remember exactly how that went. Josh ended up on top. If you look at our records, you say, he is at an advantage. Can Dalton beat him? <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm not garbage. I can beat him. You just gotta go in there prepared. To beat Josh, I'm coming with angles. All right, I'm gonna get him stepping left while I'm stepping right. When he reaches with his lead arm, I'm lowering my level and I'm shooting in so fast that he's gonna think a magic trick happened and I disappeared. What else do you want from me? What happens after Josh Woods? In the ring, I don't know but I know I've got a greenhouse that I'm working on at home and that thing's not gonna build itself. Would a victory be, <laughs> be the therapy I need? <sighs> I don't know. I just know I've got a lot pent up inside here. He's in for a match in his mind, but really, <sighs> he's, he's messing with a box full of bees. A big box with a lot of holes. Dalton Castle is not the only ROH athlete currently missing from the rankings. Someone else not currently ranked is Ryan Johnson. I just wanted to say that before I say that he's the latest guest on the ROH Strong podcast. I'm sure that episode is absolutely riveting and animated and probably even loud. Anyway, also on the upcoming episode of TV, we'll see a huge six-man tag team match as Shane Taylor and SOS face off with the foundation members, Tracy Williams, Jay Lethal, and Jonathan Gresham. Let's hear from both sides right now. What happens when you build your house on a crooked foundation? It all falls apart. The foundation talks about the change that they want to bring to Ring of Honor. Since when? Rhett, Jay Lethal, y'all have been here for over a decade. If you wanted to bring change to Ring of Honor, you'd have done it. Gresham and Tracy, you talk about purifying the divisions. You want assimilation. You want conformity. You want to gentrify Ring of Honor for only the people and the styles that you deem worthy. Tell the truth. The foundation wishes it was Shane Taylor Promotions. You wish you could say the things we say. You wish you could do the things we do. You wish you could lead the way we lead. Unapologetic. Uncompromising. Unafraid. But if you're asking us, do we want the opportunity to whoop y'all's asses? Yeah, we really do. By now, everybody's heard it. The foundation is here to restore honor. And we see all. So Shane Taylor Promotions, SOS, we saw what you did when you were offered the six-man tag team championships because Mexa Squad couldn't compete. You had every opportunity to claim those titles as your own, claim that status as your own, and you turned it down. Why? That is an honorable gesture. That is an honorable thing to do. And we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But a gesture is empty without action. And you want to talk about your actions? I met SOS when they jumped me from behind. That's how I met you guys. So you gotta prove it. 
And if your mission is to prove yourselves that you're worthy of championships, who better to do it against than champions? Why not the tag team champions of Ring of Honor, Jay Lethal and Jonathan Gresham? But not just that, you guys want to be six-man tag team champions? How about a six-man tag team match? I'll step in there. I owe you one, SOS. I owe you one, Shane Taylor. So I'm ready for you to prove it. Six-man action. You want to show us that you got honor? We'll be waiting. Shane Taylor is on the biggest role of his career, and right now he could be one-third of the six-man champions, but refused to accept the championship by forfeit. With that, he's gone on to defeat Jay Briscoe, who has one of the best records in ROH history at final battle. And you see right there, Shane is at the very top of the world title rankings. As we've said, the ROH board of directors have placed the athletes in specific divisions based on multiple criteria, including wins and losses, caliber of wins and losses, strength of opponent, resume, style, and the influence from you the fans. That's right, your opinion matters. If a wrestler wants to be moved to a different singles division, they must submit a request to the board of directors to be evaluated for approval. If approved, new rankings will be determined. Any wrestler in the top three of the ranking system is eligible to challenge for the championship at the board of directors' discretion. With that said, ROH Dojo trainers Will Ferrara and current ROH Pure and Tag Team Champion Jonathan Gresham went to the board of directors with a proposal. A four-way gauntlet with Dojo students Eric Martin, Joe Keyes, Dante Caballero, and Ken Dixon with the winner getting a shot at the Pure Championship. The board of directors agreed to the proposal and have said the winner will move to the number three spot on the rankings and will get a shot at the Pure Championship on a future episode of ROH TV. Let's go to that now. That's right, another week-by-week -week exclusive match. I'm proud to present Eric Martin versus Joe Keys versus Dante Caballero versus Ken Dixon in a dojo four-way gauntlet. Nothing like going to war with some of your best friends. I'm Eric Martin, and a shot at that pure title sounds pretty sweet. I can see it now. Ken Dixon, Ring of Honor pure champion. See, I tried playing by your rules, pal, but tonight you find out that violence, violence always finds a way. Yo soy Dante Caballero, and not only am I representing the RH Dojo, but I also represent mi país. When I say that I'm going to become the first ever Puerto Rican born Ring of Honor Puro Campeón. My name is Joe Keys, and any other night I fight alongside my dojo brothers, but tonight, you boys are on your own. Welcome everyone to this Ring of Honor YouTube exclusive, a four way gauntlet match to determine who will receive a shot at the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz for our official introduction. This match is a four-person gauntlet match featuring students from the ROH Dojo, and the winner of this match will receive a future shot at the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Championship. They are Dante Caballero, Joe Keys, Ken Dixon, and Eric Martin. Well, this gauntlet is for a shot at the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. Ian Riccoboni joined by the Pure Champion, Jonathan Gresham, by Will Ferrara. Mr. Gresham, Mr. Ferrara, welcome. You run the Ring of Honor Dojo right now and have a lot of heart and soul in these four men. Oh, hell, hell yeah, we do. And all four of these guys are the most ready I've ever seen them. I'm excited for this one. Sure, they're all different from each other as well. Really the two great. competitors drawn randomly to start the match are Ken Dixon and Eric Martin. Here we go, and you are eliminated if pinned or submitted, disqualified or counted out. And we will move on to the next competitor. Unfortunately, Eric Martin and Ken Dixon have drawn the first positions, not the most enviable, but we'll see if there's uh, stamina, code of honor adhered to. Well, something we enforce at the dojo is stamina, to always be ready, have that gas tank, and all four of these guys could go all day. Yes, these two are actually a unit. They're a team. They train together regularly. Um, you see, um, Eric Martin is a uh, technical wrestler slash a high uh, a striker. Sorry about that. And, um, you know, Ken Dixon, we've had some problems with him in the dojo. He doesn't really agree with uh, the rules of the ring. But uh, hopefully we can break him. Uh, 
Yeah. We see a nice side headlock takeover and a head scissor there by Ken Dixon. You know, Ken Dixon's a guy that I had known from the independent scene, and, and, and he's kind of like a wild stallion to me. He's tough to tame. It, it's tough to yeah. get he's that military contractor experience to get that fight out of him. He just yeah. has that urge to be as violent as possible, but sometimes you have to be cerebral, especially in the game of pure wrestling. And I like what's going on with the ROH Dojo right now. I think to the, the New Japan Dojo system that's worked so well over the years, whether it's Evil, whether it's Jay White, whether it's guys like Clark Connors, Alex Coughlin, or Carl Fredericks, where you kind of strip them down to the bare basics, teach them the basics of wrestling, and then set them free, and then let them get the identity and the pizzazz that comes with pro wrestling. You strip them down, and no pun intended, you build a foundation yes. underneath them. It's a great Escape there by Eric Martin, dropped down by Kent Dixon. Ooh, and that's the agility I like of Eric Martin. Sends him outside. Martin's got those long limbs, Let deceptively quick. Stay cool, Dixon, stay cool. And that's what we saw in that tag match on Ring of Honor television. Ken Dixon, they got a little bit of that short fuse. You know, he's going to have to keep that fuse on a leash because there's four mat three matches he's going to have to win if he's going to go through this gauntlet. Right, shoots the half there, gets a, a one count. Yeah, we've got Eric Martin riding him right now. Yeah, a little amateur experience, but Ken Dixon finds his way out of it. But caught by Martin. He's looking for a fireman's carry. Instead, Martin catches him. See, Eric Martin's really coming to his own as of late. He's building up his strength. He's been working on his technique and his confidence, I think, is the most important part that he's finally gaining that. That's very true. That left arm layered is one thing that Ken Dixon needs to watch out for if he ever swings for it. Oh, sends him to the outside. Great ring awareness by Martin. And, and this has got Dixon fired up now as he drags Martin to the outside. What's going on here? It, it, Come on, man. Pure wrestlers like to keep it in the ring. Gresham, we saw that great defense at final battle against Flip Gordon. I mean, that match, for the most part, stayed in the ring. Yes. That's what, we're that's what we teach these guys in the dojo. Stays in the ring. You know, there's no there's no rules on the floor. All the rules are in the ring, and that's where we want to keep it. And Ken Dixon is uh, yeah, this is he's not doing that right now. It's, uh, it's clear to me that he does not agree with what we've been teaching him in the dojo. Not quite copacetic with the, uh, the skills of even Eric Martin that we've seen. And this is not pure wrestling, in my opinion, going to the mouth like that. And telling, telling his dojo he's members no to shut up. How do you work with a guy like this, Will, that, that's not, you know, doesn't quite buy into the system, it feels like, from the outside? Like, uh, on the surface, Ken Dixon isn't someone I wouldn't uh, really associate myself with, but one thing that I see through him is his passion for pro wrestling. He may be violent, he may not listen to the rules, but I know he loves this sport. He finds uh, an out for his violence within this sport. He cares about it. So I respect that about him. I just wish he would iron out these differences he has, this temper, because he could be an incredible pure wrestler if he applied himself. Oh, look at that. Eric Martin up and out of the way to the outside. Catches the right. Comes back with a forearm. Shoulder to the midsection. Rolls him up. Two. Stay on him. And right on top, that front face lock. Single arm up and over. And Gresham. Stay on him. Stay on him. Gresham as both the coach, but also as the pure champion. Got to be excited to see these guys get in the ring. Are you worried at all that one of your students might be able to, to pull off the unthinkable, might pull the upset here? Oh, oh, there's the left arm lariat. That's what I'm talking about. This is it. Hooks the leg. Has to be. Two. Wow. Just the two count Very there. Very surprised. Very surprised. That means we still got to go back to the drawing board and work on that one. Maybe call for it again. Ducks the right. Dixon. Oh. Wow. Snap power slam. Two. And that's all she wrote for Eric right. Martin. Ken Dixon has advanced. The next entry is Dante Caballero. Dante Caballero. So we will see either Dixon or Caballero take on Joe Keys for a shot at Jonathan Gresham's Ready? Pure Championship. Ready? Gresham, what can you tell us about Caballero here? Well, Dante, uh, he's also a technical wrestler, but he's also a very explosive, powerful wrestler as well. Um, I think one of his bench presses is close to 350. Wow. A lot more than I can. Yeah. Dante, a deceivingly heavyweight of an individual. All right, Hammerlock into a pinning combination, two there. And Dante's a guy that, that had a lot of the glitz, the pizzazz. But to me, you can tell the difference already. One, just you strip that down, you strip him away, and he's focusing. You could tell he's been hitting the gym. You could tell he's been hitting the mat. 
All yeah. these guys. For sure. His mindset now. He's not worried about how flashy he could look. He's not worried about the jackets he's wearing to the ring. He's worried about taking care of business in between the bell. And he's been great at that. He won the last tag match. We had. Right on Ring of Honor TV. Roll. Oh, knife edge chop. He is. Get out of that corner, Dante. Joe Keys made the move. Not where you victory. Takes it back to the center. And it's Dixon connecting on Caballero. In the clutch, but into a jawbreaker by Caballero. Into the ropes, drops down, almost catches him. Great technique by Dixon, and the elbow plants him. One, he's trying to end this one as fast as he can. I mean, you know, he's he just had a match under a belt, his, <laughs> yeah. his belt, you know? I, I, I've been I doing the same thing. But all these guys got gas, though, you know what I mean? They all got ah, big tanks. There's neck vice here. They're wrenching the neck of Caballero. Gave him space to get to his feet. Reestablish that vertical base. Shots to the midsection. And Dixon, though. And that's one desperation there. Yeah, and that's one way to, to clear the wind out of somebody. If you got the gas in the tank, <laughs> just oh, push yeah. it. Physically push it out like Dixon did. Uh, but I don't know. That could have made Dante even more angrier. Like, Dante has a way of channeling his frustrations. He might not uh, go on the outside, he might not do dirty things, but he'll find that fire, that heart deep inside, and let it out on Dixon. Like oh, that! Oh, oh what a forearm. Here it comes. Exactly what you're talking about. They fed chop forearm combo, and Dante Irish whip reversed by Dixon. But Dixon's got this extra gear that sends Caballero to the mat. What a line. man. Cover! Two! Nice push out. Just a two count there. See, all four of these guys, we've had thousands of training matches in the dojo. There is no crowd there. I feel like these guys are in their element when there's no crowd. A lot of wrestlers, they might not look at it as a, uh, something they'd have to adjust to, but these guys are second nature. They could wrestle all day. Let's go, Dante. Get up. I don't think it bothers them. And that's something that's been interesting about this, this COVID era of Ring of Honor. I've seen guys like Jonathan Gresham, you've been incredibly successful retaining the Pure Championship, the Tag Team Championship, while other athletes have a losing record inside of the bubble with no crowd, no atmosphere. So that's a great observation because we've seen guys like Gresham thrive, while other athletes who would had winning records just kind of fall apart. Uh, a lot of the guys, they need the crowd. They need the crowd for energy. Uh, us as pure wrestlers, we don't need to. We're worried about what's happening in the ring at all times. And Caballero firing up, like you said before, Will. Here's this extra speed, this extra gear he finds. Has Dixon up, big body slam. Hooking the leg. Two. You can see he's keeping control of the wrist right there into, into the kick face. out, right into the cross face. Nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Have he continued nice. finish to hold, if he hooks his legs, that would be the extra pressure and he might submit Dixon right here. And I love on that pin, he pushed the arm down and continued with that wrist. And that's what led him into this. You're absolutely right. Doesn't quite have the arm trapped. Dixon pretty uh, strong. Oh. And Dante. Dante was scouting ahead, switching sides here. Nice. He could roll this over to a nice cover. Stop. This could happen. Wow. This is Two, it. three. Nice. Dante got Very him. Very nice. Very nice, Dante. Dante Caballero has advanced. Now that was a great victory with a pure wrestling move right oh, there. What oh, the what's, what, what's going? What the hell is this? Dixon, you, you had a great effort. You pinned Martin. The match is over. Come is, on. Oh, come Dixon on. Knows he can't, this is this, your student. You've trained with Dante. This is your brother in arms. You lost. You can't get a pure title match now. He's not. This is. Dixon. And Dixon is a man who, who's going to the beat of his own drum at this point. Yo. A, attacking. Yo, what is that? Oops. All right. You see Joe, he's reluctant here. He doesn't, he wants to wrestle Dante the right way. The final entrant is Joe Keys. And Dante and Joe have teamed up. Dante's been through a hell of a match. He has every right to end it right now. He's just been attacked, but I don't think Dante has it in him. He's worked too hard for too long. He's not gonna get, come this far just to get this far. A pure championship match is on the line and he's not gonna give up. And one of these men will walk out with a shot at Jonathan Gresham's Pure Championship and a, a golden opportunity. And I don't blame Keys here. All things aside, oh, okay. man of honor and, and respect, but I mean, you get a shot at one of the premier titles in the world, you, you, gotta, you gotta take your shot here too. He's honing in on that lower back. And, and I think Keys sees set the, up for that double leg Boston. Sees the writing on the wall, a move that Shibata teaches. 
at the New Japan Dojo, one that Gresham and Ferrara have taught at the Ring of Honor Dojo. One of the most basic but most dangerous moves you can apply if you're a professional wrestler. And Dante gets to the ropes. And it's just staying on him. He's just focused tonight. This is what this is what I like to see. This is what we teach at the dojo. Don't waste time after the kickouts. If it doesn't work, just stay on him and make it work. And I mean, the bell rang, and, and you can say what you will about them being partners. You can say what you will about them training together. But Gresham, you know, the money gets bigger once you have the championship. Oh, for sure. The accolades get bigger. And not for nothing. The competition gets harder. Though, the competition too. gets harder. I mean, jumping into the deep end with someone like yourself. But, I mean, if Joe Keyes has a, even a shot at the pure championship, you got you to gotta get in there and take advantage of it. Exactly. And if you're Dante, you, you got to find that extra fire right now. You got to find a way to try and come back. Oh. But it's been all Joe Keyes. He's back, taking a lot of punishment. He's, he's two. There you go. Oh, now he's going to put the squeeze on him. Just on top of him, those hands locked, driving that shoulder into the lower back. Fight to those ropes, Dante. Come on, get out of there. If he could swing his legs out, it, it takes a little bit of the pressure off, but not a whole lot. You see these dojo guys, they're really good at using what many would consider simple maneuvers, but maximizing their effectiveness. You know, I look at pro wrestling as knowing who you are and maximizing everything that you do. And these guys were stripping them down, so they find themselves. They find out who they are. You could win this right here. Oh, and they're maximizing every single thing that we do, going right back to that hole. Look at that strong grip by Joe Keyes. You see, he's squeezing them and making them kick out. That's making them use more energy. More this is oxygen. a great strategy. And taking more away from This here is a great I think, strategy. I think you taught him that, Gresham. <laughs> And Caballero fighting out with the clubbing forearms, hitting him in the shoulder, but breaking the grip only temporarily. Oh, and high take down into the bridge. Two. Nice technique. Nice. But there, you're, slamming, you're getting slammed face first into the mat, then you're getting turned on your shoulders nearly upside down. Yeah. He, he must be he's dizzy. Ta he's taking his wind. Breathe. He's taking his wind. Dante's Dante not in a good breathe. spot right now. He cannot breathe right now. He's still getting to his feet. He's got to break that grip. There you go. Back elbow forces Get the out release. Of there. Still needs to recover. Yeah, he's he's sucking wind right now. But he's staying on the offensive. Sure is. Fireman's carry. Oh, Can't quite back. get keys up. Oh! oh! What a clubbing blow. I oh, could be going back for the Boston Crab here. Yeah, nice double leg trying to flip him over. You can see over. Dante holding onto the Push ankles, preventing being turned. Rolls nice. through. Oh, Dante's got him! Two! Oh. Great wherewithal from Dante. Caballero almost getting the pin. Now Dante has an opening. Keep charging it. Oh! oh. Nobody home! Wow. On the spear attempt in the corner. Oh, oh God. <laughs> That, that's the, exactly the opening that Dante needed. He could catch his breath, he could recover here, and Joe, hopefully he could get back in the ring at a time. I haven't seen Dante anyone. needs to capitalize on that shoulder now. Dante, now that the Dante smart. Himself. I think you can see now he's noticing Joe Keyes hurting his shoulder, attending to that, trying to, I guess, break that back into place. Come on, Dante, get up. And Dante Caballero getting his breath right now, able to compose himself. This is a pivotal moment in this match. And I think Caballero has an opening to really inflict some damage on Keys, and he hits a spear in the corner. Irish whip. Got the momentum. Second wind. Collapsing Keys. Keep and it going. Caballero, big time body slam. Keys, the fresher of the two. Dante has already pinned Ken Dixon at this point. The winner will go on to face Jonathan Christian. Ooh. For the Ring of Honor Pure Championship, Caballero, single leg drop kick. Get it, cover him. He's oh, tired here. He's got no gas. Use his energy. That can cover two. Ooh. He only kicked out but of that because it took too much time. And looking for the cross face the again. Transition to the cross face, nice. Tracy Williams has won a number of matches with this move. Ooh. Oh! And it is effective if you lock it in. The fingers are locked. The arm is trapped. Joe Keese has his hand trapped in there. Oh! Until he, Dante moves that hand, he's not going to have it. And there we go. But Keys fighting the hands. And that shoulder is hurt right now on Keys. Rolls him over, too. Dante not letting go. He is stubborn. 
keep He's it on He's trying to earn his championship match. This is how he beat Dixon. If he rolls him up right here, just last fall, we've seen it work. Oh, there you go. The rings nice. of Saturn Stack trap Stack into the em. pin. Two. Oh, just a two oh. count there. Wow, that was close. See, Keys, the lucky part of this gauntlet, he was on the outside. He saw it happen. He knew that Dante was going to go for that at some point, and he scouted it. But we talk about this a lot with matches with Jonathan Gresham. Gresh, opponents might know what you're going to do, but they have a very hard time stopping it. And at this sure. point, Caballero able to lock in the crossface. Keys might have known it was coming, but the damage was done. You can see that there's mutual respect between these two. They're oh! staring at each other. They know they're in the middle of a fight, but a fight that only one of them could win. The title shot only one of them can get. Oh! It will be the biggest match of either man's career. The shot on Ring of Honor television for the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. All right. Get up, Dante. And it's Joe Keyes with the advantage right now. Forearm delivers. Keyes connects. And it's Caballero and Keyes. Caballero. It's all about who wants it more now. Neither man landing more than one in a row. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Wrist lock driver down to the mat. Oh! You got to pin him. Get on him. Keys oh. sends him down. He's riding that momentum. Oh, he's going for that headbutt. If he hits this, it could be over. Keys oh. connects. Ah. And going, going right back to it. Going right. for a single leg. We've seen oh. him kick to the back. Oh, this is a lot of punishment. And it's Keys. Can't be in the back of the head. This has got to be it. Caballero in a bad way. Can he hang All on? All that pressure no. on that back. Keys wins. The winner by submission of the ROH Dojo Gauntlet match, receiving a future shot at the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Championship, Joe Keys. Congratulations to Joe Keys, who wins the gauntlet match for a shot at Jonathan Gresham's Ring of Honor Pure Championship. Great effort by Caballero, great effort by Martin, and I'm a little disappointed in Ken, Ken Dixon. Dixon. For sure, great display of pure wrestling here, except for Ken Dixon, for sure. Thank Very you. disappointed in him. We've seen some new moves out of Joe Keyes. That's what this is about. Addition to the repertoire for Caballero, sportsmanship, respect. These two are tag team partners. They've been successful tag team. <laughs> yeah, he's just, uh, yeah, that's right what Ring of Honor is all about right here. Joe, Pure professional wrestling. Looking at the future of Ring of Honor in this ring. Joe Key's your winner. Eric Martin, congratulations. Gresham, you are the Pure Champion. He's going to go congratulate the victor. And Keyes is saying, Gresham, you're next. Joe Key's your winner. Thank you, Jonathan Gresham. Thank you, Will Ferrara. And we will see Jonathan Gresham versus Joe Keyes for the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. Happy wrestling, everybody.